Introducing Mr. Money. Send your money instantly. Top up your airtime instantly. Pay your bills instantly. Airtime money instantly. Send your money instantly. Safety is guaranteed. It don't matter how far it is. It reach safe and quickly. Pay your water bills immediately. And also pay for DSTV. Or top up airtime real quickly. Send your money instantly. Top up your airtime instantly. Pay your bills instantly. Airtime money instantly. Hi, I am Mr. Money. And I bring you Airtel Money. The fastest, safest way to send money. Pay bills, top up and more. With Airtel Money, you can do more instantly. Airtel Money. Simple, secure, instant. Apple Max. Take it to the max. Want to just get out of town with your friends and family? Are you having a corporate getaway and have no adequate transport? Then this here is what you need to listen to. A brand new 35-seater Yutong luxury bus is now up for hire at an affordable and negotiable rate. It comes fully equipped with aircon, TV for your relaxation, music soothing your trip, and DVD players to give you variety. Book now by calling 0955 0966-0977-844-141. What makes the new Yo-Yo Chipsy so unique? 100% natural ingredients. Nothing artificial. Just a pure experience of freshness. Chipsy potato chips. We know you'll love them. Hey girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you for just a minute. Where you live and what you like to do? Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. Okay, I'm just trying to get with someone real because you look so free. So let's chill. Have a drink with a guy like me. Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. A quality product from Californian Beverages. Good evening, and you are most welcome to Prime Television's main news bulletin. To present it, my name is Abigail Tali. A look at the stories that are making headlines. Onza students call on Hakainde Hichlema's intervention. A woman and a child brutally battered by her husband. MMD commends governments for releasing the draft constitution. In international news, Egypt declares state of emergency in Sinai. For these and other stories, stay tuned.
and the news in detail. Movement for Multi-Party Democracy, MMD, President Doc, Doc, Dr. Nevas Mumba, has congratulated the patriotic front governments for releasing the draft constitution. Dr. Mumba, however, notes that it is disappointing that the PF has released the document without a proper roadmap of the referendum. He says the PF government must know how to do things once, once and for all than delaying the people of Zambia on the constitution. Dr. Mumba says that the Patriotic Front government is on a mission. That's why they don't want to release the referendum. He says it is the Patriotic Front habits that they play with people's minds and make them look foolish. We think that they have given us this draft constitution because of the pressure that we've given to them. They were supposed to give it to the Zambian people after 90 days of being in government. They lied to the Zambian people, they abrogated on their promise. However, after a lot of pressure, three years later, not 90 days, they have given us a draft constitution without the roadmap. That raises a lot of questions. Without the roadmap means that there is a possibility this could be a game. They just want to do it for the celebration. But we want to assure the Zambian people and warn the patriotic front that we are going to ensure that the pressure is going to be exerted persistently until this constitution is given to the Zambian people. And I think that Zambians can no longer take any more lies. Some University of Zambia students have called on United Party for National Development, UPND, to come to their aid. The students, represented by Edward Sichali, say they have decided to seek the intervention of the UPND leader as he is the only person that understands their plight as an institution. They have complaints that the 22 kwacha meal allowance is a mockery as they cannot afford to feed themselves at the same time by other meals to manage during each semester. They have accused government of paying a deaf ear to their plight, resulting into them even losing the bursaries and the Commonwealth Centre. The students in intercepted the opposition leader while on a tour to Chawama compound. Yes. Mr. HH, we have hoped as the University of Zambia. We, under we understand the issues of the nation. Somebody cannot advise us about dialogue. We understand it very well. If you see us fighting for Commonwealth, we have tried. Dialogue has not worked. <laughs> You have been at the university. What we are talking about here are not fairy tales. Come to our aid as the university. The new allowance cannot sustain us. The accommodation we do not have. Do us a for money. And in response to the students' calls, the UPND leader has assured the students of his commitment to pressing government in giving them bursaries. Mr. Hichilema says it is unfair that the students' needs should go unnoticed when government is spending more money on unnecessary by-election. Mr. Hichilema has further called on Sports Minister Chimba Kambwiri to give the students the Commonwealth Centre so as to meet the accommodation crisis. The money is there. They are wasting money on by-elections. By the end of the PF regime, five years, they will have had 30 by-elections. Each by-election costs the country and the taxpayer not less than $2 million. You are talking about $60 million. At today's rate, that works out to be about... 378 million kwacha. The bursary that required for everybody to earn reasonable BC is only 150 million kwacha. So the money is there. When the government is lying that there's no money, they are just greedy people. We demand that they must give you the bursary. Number two, Teo Kambwiri that Hakainde has said that the commonal centre belongs to investors. A 76-year-old woman of Lusaka, who is also a freedom fighter, Justina Lungo, has expressed happiness for the country to have attained 50 years of golden jubilee.
Ms. Lungu says despite that government has not recognized the freedom fighters, they have a reason to celebrate because of being free from colonialism. She says things were not good when they decided to take action and win the freedom from white men and women to become free. She was speaking to Prime TV News in Lusaka. Nimbera Bruno, Nimbera Bruno, then in Mayuko Amene Naenda, Naenda Ku Tanzania, Naenda Ku Zimbabwe, Ku South Africa, Naenda Ku Africa, Zitiri Free. Then in Kachi Chikuru Maningi, Jamene Ninga Kambi, Chikuru Maningi, Muno Zambia, Sumuna Bere Konkondo, Sitina Yambaneko. Kulibe nkondo, kulibe mtu wa mene, vavili, vatatu, wanafa, ntawi imozi, ati wapaiwa, urona masoja, wapaiwa nandani. Icho nye namba wano, cha mene ni kondwela, kutikunalibe nkondo mzambia, mpaka lero, 50 years, kunalibe nkondo. Unemployment Association of Zambia President Pundu Mwanamuelwa has expressed displeasure on the manner employers are treating their employees when they complain. Mr. Mwanamuelo says it is sad that over 200 workers in the country have been threatened to be fired if they complain on better conditions of service. He says employees are not free in their working places and government has to come to the front and help all the employees to feel secured. Mr. Mwanamuelo was speaking when he featured the Prime TV program, Morning Prime. You are still watching Prime Television's main news bulletin. Just now we take a commercial break. Introducing Mr. Money. Send your money instantly. Top up your airtime instantly. Pay your bills instantly. Airtime money instantly. Send your money instantly. Safety is guaranteed. It don't matter how far it is. It reaches safe and quickly. Pay your water bills immediately. And also pay for DSTV. Or top up your airtime real quickly. Send your money instantly. Top up your airtime instantly. Pay your bills instantly. Airtime money instantly. Hi, I am Mr. Money and I bring you Airtel Money. The fastest, safest way to send money, pay bills, top up and more. With Airtel Money, you can do more instantly. Airtel Money. Simple, secure, instant. Girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you for just a minute. Where you live and what you like to do? Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. Okay, I'm just trying to get with someone real because you look so free. So let's chill. Have a drink with a guy like me. Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. A quality product from Californian Beverages. Thank you for still, stay, for still staying with us. We now continue the news. MMD Lusaka District Chair Lady has appealed to youth in the country to be responsible over their lives. Grace Chibube has noted that despite the country constitutes, the majority youth have failed to demonstrate true leadership. She has called on youths to be responsible over their lives if they have to be regarded for leadership positions in the future. What I can, what I can tell the youth is that uh, there is too much alcohol 
even the women, this can appeal to the women also. Uh, to celebrate is not to drink where you can even find yourself in sales. So let us celebrate together with our families and uh, especially the youths because when there is something like uh, celebration, most of the time we find the youths they are taking alcohol too much. There is too much drinking beer. So let us look ourselves, be there, the, you can dance, you can drink at a certain level, you know, don't smoke because you are just spoiling your life. You know, for Kaunda to be there over those years, you see, uh, he respected the views of the parents and they are supposed to respect the views of the parents because the youths nowadays they have got uh, that powers you know where uh, you see you say ah, if you can do this for me I can go to the police so by the end of the day the parents they are scared to uh, to to beat their children what you are doing is bad you beat you whip your your child immediately he or she will go to the police and report you so please, without uh, the advice from the mothers or the, the father, please be yourself. Think about your future so that you can lead this nation next. A woman of Lusaka Kanyama compound has been brutally battered by her husband with an iron bar. Narrating the audio to Prime TV, Liz Tamalambo says her husband, who is currently detained at Kanyama police, started abusing her two weeks ago. She has called on the police and government to ensure they convict her husband, adding that such people should not be allowed to live in society. But in the Chinese government, there's not going to Meanwhile, concerns for human rights have called on government to stiffen the punishment for GBV offenders. Director of Operations, Frederick Liteta, says 50 years of Zambia, Zambian independence should not allow GBV cases to continue. He says without the law being stiff, people will continue to commit similar offenses. He has further called on women to unite and condemn such human rights violations. You can imagine we are just celebrating 50 years of uh, jubilee of independence, but GBV is still high. You can see this woman here being battered in the night to the extent of even beating his own child. 10 months old child to be beaten like that. That is unbiblical. Animosity is prevailing. I urge the government to move in. A cyber security expert has advised the Zambian government to work with Zambian cyber security graduates to set up an information technology security incident response team whose job will be to respond to cyber attacks nationwide. Speaking on Prime TV Morning Prime program this morning, Mr. Tambo Ngambi, who is a university graduate and an expert in cyber counterterrorism and modern warfare, says Zambia did not invent the internet and shares the same worldwide web with Western countries, as such the same virus attacks have spread to Zambia. When a problem is happening in other countries, it will also happen here. Okay? There is nothing like, oh, it's only them. Hey. <laughs> Did we create Yahoo? <laughs> okay, Thank Mr. you so much, Mr. Nandi. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. The biggest problem that we have in Zambia, uh, I'm appealing to the Zambian government, okay, mm -hmm. to, uh, to, to work with us cybersecurity experts, okay, and uh, let us have a cybersecurity incident response team, okay, so that we can monitor the cybersecurity attacks which are happening in this country. Mm -hmm. Because... There are no statistics. We don't have statistics. And there's nowhere for people to run to. You are still watching Prime Television's main news bulletin. Before we take another break, 
a look at the stories that are making headlines. Onza students call on Hakainde Hichleman's intervention. A woman and her child brutally battered by her husband. MMD commends government for releasing the draft constitution. And still to come in international news, Egypt declares state of emergency in Sinai. Stay tuned. to the max. What makes the new Yo-Yo Chipsy so unique? 100% natural ingredients. Nothing artificial. Just a pure experience of freshness. Gypsy potato chips. We know you'll love them. Welcome back. Egypt has declared a state of emergency in the north and center of the Sinai Peninsula after a suicide car bombing killed at least 30 soldiers. A three-day mourning period has been declared across the country, while a curfew has been put in place between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. in areas covered by the state of emergency declaration, according to state media. Egyptian sources say the suicide car bomber detonated these explosives near the checkpoints magazine, causing it and an army vehicle to explode. Fighters then attacked the site with guns and a rocket-propelled grenades. The source said the group attacked as soldiers were on break inside their tents. State media reported that 28 other people were wounded, several of whom were in critical condition. Iran has executed a 26-year-old woman convicted for killing a man whom she said tried to sexually abuse her. Rehani Jabari was arrested in 2007 for the murder of Moteza Sabandi, a former employee of Iran's Ministry of Intelligence. She was hanged at dawn on Saturday. The official IRNA news agency quoted the Tehran prosecutor's office as saying, Jabari was sentenced to death by a criminal court in Tehran in 2009 in what Amnesty International said was a deeply flawed investigation and trial. Her execution was due to be carried out on 30 September but was postponed for 10 days. However, she said that another man who was also in the house at the time killed at the time she killed him claims to do not appear to have ever been properly investigated. Amnesty said, "We now monitor Al Jazeera for more on international roundup." U.S. military commanders say ISIL fighters in Syria have been hit by 15 new airstrikes. Al Jazeera has obtained exclusive video from inside the devastated town of Kobane in northern Syria. Kurdish forces have been battling ISIL fighters there for weeks with help from U.S.-led coalition airstrikes. To South Asia now, where the former head of the largest religious party in Bangladesh has died of a heart attack in prison. 91-year-old Ghulam Azam was convicted of war crimes last year. He was jailed for 90 years for masterminding mass killings of pro-independence activists during the war against Pakistan in 1971. When scientists unearthed the bones of two large dinosaur arms nearly 50 years ago, they thought they'd discovered a powerful creature with killer claws, similar to a T-Rex. Now scientists from South Korea have found the rest of the dinosaur's body, and it looks nothing like they'd imagined. The Dinocharis miraficus measured 11 meters long and weighed 6 tons. 
It had an elongated head with a duck-like beak and a large humped sail on its back. Dana terrible hand. Dana Chiris means terrible hands, and Miraficus means looking peculiar. So it means terrible hands that look peculiar. We're really pleased we've been able to confirm its identity. It's 300 days since three Al Jazeera journalists were arrested in Egypt. Mohammed Fahmi, Peter Gresta and Bahar Mohammed remain falsely accused of helping the outlawed Muslim Brotherhood. Al Jazeera continues to call for their immediate release. And finally, in sports news, Zambia squandered a 1-0 to zero lead to draw 1-1 to one at home in an international friendly with Cote d'Ivoire in Lusaka at Hero Stadium. Striker Sate Sate Kampamba scored for Zambia in the fourth minute, but Cote d'Ivoire later equalized in the 52nd minute. The international friendly was played to mark Zambia's 50th independence anniversary that fell on October 24th, 2014. We end the news on that note, but before we go, the headlines once again. Onza students call on Hakainde Hichilema's intervention. A woman and a child brutally battered by her husband. MMD commends government for releasing the draft constitution, and in international news, Egypt declares state of emergency in Sinai. Well, thank you so much for your time. This has been Abigail Mtale. Do enjoy the rest of our programs. Hey girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you for just a minute. Where you live and what you like to do? Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. Okay, I'm just trying to get with someone real because you look so free. So let's chill. Have a drink with a guy like me. Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. A quality product from Californian Beverages. And quickly pay water bills immediately and also pay for DSTV. What about pay time real quickly? Send your money instantly, top up your air time instantly, pay your bills instantly, air time money instantly. Hi, I am Mr. Money and I bring you Airtel Money, the fastest, safest way to send money, pay bills, top up, and more. With Airtel Money, you can do more instantly. Airtel Money. Simple, secure, instant. Hi, I'm Dr. J. Do you have any problems with mathematics? Then worry not. A wise man once told me that we live by mathematics. As Prime TV, we were compelled by that principle and therefore we bring to you this exciting program, Let's Solve It, brought to you by Prime TV. It involves the teaching and teaching of grade 9 and grade 4 mathematical questions. On more of that, 
see me every Thursday at 13.40 right here. He's gonna make it up to you. Can I keep you? Casper?